Edward sat at his station one cold night. It was his last train for the day, and he could not wait to get back to his warm shed. He waited and waited, but the signal above still shone red. What am I waiting for? Presently, the drawing of wheels drew into earshot, but they weren't steam engine wheels. The coughing and spluttering of motors drew into the station. Out of the night came two diesels, hauling a long line of flatbeds. Edward gaped at the sight. The line of flatbeds were filled with old, rusted steam engine boilers. They gazed a reddish glow as if they had come from the pits of hell. What are you staring at? was one of the diesels. It was the one in front of the other. The two were identical almost with the same dark green paintwork, yellow cab, hazard stripes, and yellow bold words on their sides reading Iron Head Ironworks. The only difference was their names sloppily chalked on their sides. The front one had Harry written on him, the other donned Herbert. The two engines looked almost like dead corpses who were Frankenstein back to life. Well, what are you looking at? Asked Harry again. I'm sorry, it's just... What? Never seen a diesel before? No, no, it's, uh... Yeah... Uh... Skiaz? Creepy, aren't they? Harry was right. He had burn marks covering his face. A, a chunk of his beard had gone missing where the burn marks were. The other diesel was in a worse state. Where his left eye was, was now a hole to his radiator. Burn marks covered his right side, and stubble of a beard could nearly be seen on his left side. Edward wasn't nervous at all. No. He was simply remorseful. No. I mean, yes. Are you alright? The diesel was taken aback, almost as if he had never heard those words before. Huh? Are you alright? Uh, yeah, why wouldn't I be? The diesel spluttered. Those scars, they look like they hurt. Well, yeah, they do. But that's what you get when you work in a steelworks, huh? <laughs> You're constantly melting metal. Spoke up, Herbert. It's gonna happen eventually. Edward stay silent. I'm sorry. The two diesels stared at the old engine, but it wasn't any way a diesel had stared at him before. It was an amiable state, almost like they were in awe at an engine who could have been this friendly. It only raised questions in Edward's mind of how they had been treated before their conversation. I, uh, didn't catch your names, he asked, trying to change the subject. Yeah, I'm Harry, said the diesel in front in a friendlier tone. And I'm Bert, replied the other. You. I'm Edward, replied the blue engine. Well, it's nice to meet you, Edward, creaked Harry. You too, wished Edward, and almost on cue, Edward's signal shot up. Well, I hope our paths meet again, called Edward, and he left the two diesels at the station. The two diesels stayed silent for a bit. You know, uh, I did like him, actually. Remarked Bert after a bit. Yeah, he was nice, unlike the others. Without warning, Gordon shot through the station with the Midnight Express. Oil guzzling bastards! Yelping dick on wheels! Hopefully, we don't have to melt him down anytime soon. With the way he treated us, I don't think you'll ever have to worry about that.